Hey guys, hope you're doing well. I'm your host, Tyrannus Senpai, and welcome to another Beast of the Mesozoic Tyrannosaurus series news video. And today we got some new uh, information regarding the Tarbosaurus, the Walking with Dinosaurs T Rex, and some new box art for a very surprising dinosaur. Like, I wasn't expecting this kind of box art, but anyway, let's go ahead and jump right in. First bit, first bit of news though, we're gonna actually be talking about the Dialogue Paradoxus. Because the sculpt for it has now been fully done. Like the whole sculpt, and it looks great. I also like its little face. He looks so happy. <laughs> he looks like he just had a jolly good stroll. Just go. <laughs> he just looks so happy. <laughs> I don't know why. He's so cute. But yeah, there's our dialogue, and the sculpt looks really good. I like the feathers on this. And. In, in scale, we have the, I don't know what kind of raptor this is. Zen Wan Long, there we go. That's the, that's the name, Zen Wan Long. And it's Attackosaurus for scale. Now, it's also worth noting that the Dai Long is actually going to be the only one to scale Tyrannosaur figure. Woo, this really helps, like, with figuring out which, which Tyrannosaur is which. It's also help making me realize that this Dialong, this 1.6 this one six scale variant, is not going to end up in my collection. Because once again, I am after the 1.18 scale variants of, di of the dinosaurs. But that's not to say that this sculpt is great looking. I mean, look at that. That's a great looking Dialong. And... <laughs> like, right next to the Zen 1 Long, this thing's pretty decently sized. Because imagine this thing's about the size of a Velociraptor. This is a tiny, tiny, tiny Tyrannosaur. And it's so cute! I can't tell you enough, it looks like he's so happy! Like all's right in the world! And I love it! It's it's adorable! Oh. But anyway, before we get into uh, too absorbed into the... <laughs> I think we're gonna go ahead and move on to our next dinosaur, the Tarbosaurus. Because the sculpt is almost fully painted now, and... It looks great! Look at that! <laughs> it looks beautiful! I love the details on this dinosaur. Now, if you remember, this paint job wasn't quite finished. We didn't have like all these details like the striping, the yellow throat, and even the eye. Or, I don't think even the le the crest behind and in front of the eyes. Oh! Oh my lord, this is an incredible looking Tyrannosaur. Again, might not end up getting this one because I have hardly any space left. I actually still need like to make a shelf to hold all my dinosaurs in because I want just one shelf dedicated to holding all my Beast of the Mesozoic dinosaurs that I have in my collection. Maybe if the shelf is big enough, I'll think about getting a Tarbosaurus, maybe. Maybe, but I'm not entirely conf confident in that. But again, this model looks great. Also, I just love the fact that this Tarbosaurus is standing on a peg and not with a freaking prop like the Beast of the Mesozoic Raptor or the 1 6 scale Dialong. <laughs> I'm very much grateful for that. Thank you, David Silva. Thank you very much. I am really tired. <laughs> um, anyway, but yeah, overall, I like the paint job. It almost looks like it's really done, though. But apparently, it's not complete yet, even though it looks really close. Either way though, I like this. This is definitely a Tarbosaurus design I really like. Now, I did see one person on Instagram who saw a photo of this and thought the proportion was all wrong. Like the head was just way too big. Bear in mind, this is a prototype and I don't think the proportions are wrong here because David Silva is striving to make these animals scientifically correct. So I think that that head might be properly sized, although it, if it's really that dramatic, he could probably scale it down ever so slightly, but in all honesty, I don't think he should, because it looks it's all, it looks alright. I mean, we know that Tarbosaurus and other large Tyrannosaurs had giant heads, and they kind of needed that to be able to crush bone and pretty much deal so much damage to like herbivores and things like that. They kind of needed a huge head and massive jaw to do that 
But yeah, I like the Starbosaurus. I definitely think it's a must have for any dinosaur collector out there, especially be since Starbosaurus is, like, hardly gets any kind of treatment in figure form. Looking at you, Mattel. Anyway, the next dinosaur on our list, and this is probably the most surprising one, is Teratophonius, the monstrous murderer. As the box art for this dinosaur has now been teased. Once again, we don't really see a whole lot. We just see like the eye and a little bit of the cheek and of course the ear hole. But from what I can see, this looks good. I like this. I think this was also done by um, Raul Ramus, who did the Pachyrhinosaurus and the subadult Triceratops. Also, sorry if you can hear like any bumping. That's me moving my mic around, trying to make sure it's standing upright so it can pick up my voice. Ha <laughs> ha! But I like the detail, like the individual scales around the eye and on the face, and what I'm guessing to be like the lacrimal crests or whatever it's called. I like this. This is a nice looking tease, and I can't wait to see what the rest of the box art is going to look like. I imagine that the reason why the rest of the face is cropped is because it might be holding something in its mouth, like we've seen with the Guanlong and the Lythronex and things like that. I don't know, but I guess we'll find out when it's revealed. And our last bit of information is regarding the Tyrannosaurus Rex, more specifically the Walking with Dinosaurs variant, because the sculpt is nearly finished for the with paint application. Oh my god, it looks beautiful. I, I already loved the Walking with Dinosaurs idea, and I definitely love the Beasts of the Mesozoic like, um, model for the T-Rex, but seeing it like this, oh my god, it looks beautiful. I love the paint applications. It looks just like the one from the documentary with the orange and eye and throat, the grayish brown body, the pale underbelly. Oh, it's, it just reeks of nostalgia. I love it. It's it's beautiful in every regard and i can't fault it like in any way i can't wait to see if i can actually get my hands on this when the kickstarter goes live i will do everything in my power to make sure this happens guys we are less than a month away before the kickstarter finally releases i I have to do everything in my power to make sure this T-Rex ends up in my collection before the Kickstarter ends. Ah, oh, that would be a dream come true. But yeah, you guys, that's really going to wrap it up. What do you think of the completion or near completion of this Walking with Dinosaurs T-Rex? Also, what are your thoughts on the Teratophonius t box art tees, the Tarbosaurus nearing completion, and of course, the Dialong sculpt? alongside these other dinosaurs let me know what you think in the comments down below and let's have a discussion but if you enjoyed today's video leave a like subscribe today hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything new link to the discord in the description down below and until next time this is tyrannosaur by signing off all righty then take care now bye bye then